Hey everybody, today in this video I wanted to be looking a little bit at the the tool FTK created by Access Data Group and stands for Forensics Toolkit. Uh, this is just going to be a very high level overview since there is just so much to do in FTK and I just wanted this to be kind of a beginner's tutorial to get people started in some ideas on what they could do with the tool. Uh, this is actually proprietary software. I will put more information in, in the description, uh, but this if if you are looking to use this tool or something like it, you will have to, to pay for this. Um, so just to kind of get started, once you get into FTK itself, you're going to want to go ahead and add uh, the, an image file of a hard drive or some other sort of media. So to do that, you just click on the evidence, and then you click Add Remove. Once you do, it'll bring up this, this handy little filter, I suppose, of just everything that you already currently have in the, in the case itself. If you go ahead and click Add, there are several different types of things you can, uh, you can add, like an acquired image uh, or a physical drive or a logical drive, things like that. Uh, once you do it, it'll go ahead and it'll actually process them, break it down, and start carving them for you. So uh, it does a lot of the legwork for you, which is really, really nice. Uh, since I've already done that, uh, I've done it with this uh, this image file right here of a Windows hard drive. I'll, we'll just go ahead and get started. Go ahead and close that out. So right here in this first tab, which is the Explore tab, um, it basically just allows us to drill down into the the evidence itself. And it looks like we have two different partitions. There's two sections of the hard drive that have been allocated away. You can actually go ahead and view the file structures and things like that if you want to. You can go ahead and uh, see, for example, in this first partition we see that we have a couple of different users, such as a uh, default user and uh, this guy named Comrade. And the second partition doesn't seem to have a whole lot on it, just a couple of pictures here and there, and it looks like a couple of compressed files. So the goal that I kind of wanted to get out of this is just to kind of show if, say that we were looking for kind of images or references to money. Uh, anything that had to deal with that in this hard drive, just a couple of ideas behind that. We could just manually go through and click on a whole bunch of different folders and files to see, for example, if I wanted to click on this one right here, this Jew.jpg, we would see there's a, uh, it seems to be a big image. We have this thing called a money pocket. It doesn't appear to have actually any money in it, but that's that doesn't matter. But as you can see, this could be a little bit inefficient to just kind of look through everything. Uh, it will give us an idea. If we have no idea where to go, we can just start looking th through some stuff to see what we can find. Um, or we can head over and take a look at this overview. This overview will actually break down the files in the, the contents of the hard drive itself into useful things such as uh, file extensions, file categories, or evidence groups. So for example, if I look at file extensions, here we have a lot of common extensions uh, found in different th throughout anybody's computer. For example, uh, there's Microsoft Documents right there. Uh, if we scroll down a little bit further, we'll find some GIFs, um, HTM files, a JPEG, so just other images, things like that. So if we wanted to filter them by just by that, we could go ahead and look down. And we would be able to see a whole bunch of different images. For example, I'll just click on one here. It appears to be, if I double, if you actually double click on it and it's an image, it'll actually bring it open in the Microsoft Photo Viewer. It appears to be a flag. So something interesting here is uh, it'll show you the actual file name itself. Uh, it'll show you the extension that it, it uh, the actual extension that it is depending. It'll show uh, that, that this will depend on the file signatures, which I, I went over in another video. It'll show you the full path. So in case you want to actually navigate to it, you can pull this out. And take a look exactly where this where this uh, where this resides. We also have the sizes of of the uh, the image, so we know exactly how big it is, and also the hash values. As uh, we've also gone over in another file, so you can actually go down, you can copy this down, and anybody else looking through it, they should be able to get these exact same hashes. They have three different types of hashes, like I told you before about collisions, and just a couple of other useful pieces of information. Um, another way is if we were just looking for specifically images, if we went over to this graphics tab right here, what you can actually do is it, it goes through and you can actually drill down like you did before. But what you do is uh, say that you wanted to get all of the images that you could, that, the, uh, that the tool can find in the second partition. If you click on this arrow here, it'll highlight all of the other uh, all of the other. Uh, all of the other file structures within this particular root here. We can see that there's four different images and it looks like we did, we have found some that kind of deal with money. If we look down here in this window, it's not exactly the uh, the most friendly thing to view in uh, this small of a screen size that I have, but it does appear to be a big stack of Benjamins. This is in the uh, the natural view, so this is what it's actually going to look like. You can go down here and if there's text, you can view it in here and there's the uh, the hex values right here, so we can actually go through and view that if we wanted to. We can we could actually carve something out if we wanted to. Say that we wanted to go ahead and save this kind of to, to review a little bit later. You can right click on this. And if you click 
add to bookmark or you can actually create a bookmark we can do that too so I'll go ahead and show you what that is basically what that is is it's just saying I want to be able to review this or find this quickly at a, at a later date so you can create a, a bookmark name we can say like money or something like that I'm not actually going to save this but then you can say where you want the bookmark parent to be and you can add a whole bunch of different things to that and the good thing that that does is I'll just close this out really fast is if you go over here to the bookmarks you can see the bookmarks that you've saved so far and it'll show you all of the different files that you've saved to that bookmark so you can quickly access them it's very very handy uh, when you're dealing with very large uh, large chunks of memory or large images of, of files um, a couple of other tools that uh, we can use is if we, we can actually export these so if you, we wanted to we can go ahead and select all four of these because we all know we know that these are all pictures of money and we can go ahead and export them to a different file on the computer uh, it'll export all four of them out to a different path so you can view them or if you wanted to access them maybe maybe you think there's a, a another picture hidden in these pictures or another document or something along those lines or or you find for example in the overview one of the file types if we take a look at this is it, the categories I believe it is for example uh, encryption files or things like that if we want to try to go ahead and decrypt them we can actually export them and use them in other programs and this way we don't mess with the integrity of the uh, of the hard drive itself we can go ahead and do that and we're free to do that as well um, another idea is if, if you want to just find references to text or maybe even uh, just references and images or, or titles like that we can we can go and we can do a live search actually I wanted an index search for this one I apologize for the term we can just type in like money and it will actually go ahead and show us that there are 8,329 references in this hard drive with the, that term money so if I go ahead and I add it to the search terms I can go ahead and I can just click on this I go ahead and double click it will go ahead and it will filter everything it's going working right now I can go ahead and look at it so it looks like there are 69 different files within allocated space that's within where the, the uh, the hard drive is actually referencing things and other files that have the term money in unallocated space it just kind of means everywhere else on the hard drive it, it might not have a reference or a file structure per se but it's still there we see 262 files and we can actually drill down in here uh, it looks like there's a couple of different graphics with that in there um, for example we have nine hits here if I go ahead and click on one of them it'll actually bring up and it'll show us in the, the text where it actually says it is uh, it does actually look like this is an image. Uh, it was tr saved as a. If you if you look right here, this is the uh, the image right here. It was saved as a .mp3 file, but as we can clearly see, this is a uh, this is not an .mp3 file. This is a bunch of Benjamins. And if we go over here, it says that it was a, the extension was saved as an .mp3 right there, but in the category is it's a it's a JPEG. So like I said, it's very smart and uh, it can it'll go ahead and it'll check all the file signatures to make sure that it is what it. It's, it claims to be and not what uh, people are trying to hide it as. So, also a very useful tool, search index. You can add multiple terms. So, if you wanted to search with like money and the term bills or something like that, or US or or euros or something along those lines, you could search for them with the uh, the and operators and it'd bring up all of the hits with both of those things together to kind of filter it a little bit further. If uh, eight thousand is a little bit too many for you, so. There's a lot of, like I said, a lot of different things that you'll, you'll want to take a look at. Oh, also something else that I wanted to mention. Uh, if you see, as you see right here, uh, some of these images appear to have like a little red X through them. Hopefully you'll be able to see that. What that means is that file was actually deleted, and uh, but it's still remaining on the hard drive itself. FTK will be able to actually go through the, uh, the unallocated space and, and look for those and kind of carve them up themselves. And it'll tell you that this, hey, this file was deleted but it's still hanging around on the hard drive you might want to take a look at that so just a couple of uh, like I said a, a couple of little things to get you started uh, there's a, a bunch of different things we could find there's a bunch of different things that we could go through but I think I'm just gonna leave it at that for today hopefully this was uh, of some use to people if, if you have questions about anything that I'm doing uh, go ahead and leave them in the comments I'd love that and like I said I'll just leave a little bit more information about FTK if you want to uh, if you want to go ahead and take a look at that there is actually a certification uh, for those people who do use FTK so you can go ahead and become certified in this uh, forensic tool so yeah other than that I hope this has been useful to you guys and I hope to see you guys in the near future have a good day